Here we have an algebraic equation that we want to solve for x. Everything is normal except for we have some square roots, so it might be a little bit more arithmetic in algebra. So the equation reads, the square root of x minus 2 is equal to the square root of 2 minus the square root of x. So we want to get x all by itself. We don't want to have a square root. We don't want to have any powers on it. So instead of taking a square root to get rid of an x squared, we're going to take a square to get rid of the square root. So if we square both sides separately, what do we get? If we square a simple square root, we just get what's left on the inside, x minus 2. And if we square the right-hand side here, it's going to be a little different. So we need to factorize, or sorry, multiply out in the normal way with order of operations. So the first terms, the last terms, and then the cross terms. So the first term is going to give us root 2 times root 2, which is, of course, just 2. And then we're going to get uh, the last term times last term, negative root x times negative root x, which is just x. And then we're going to have a cross term, or well, we'll have two cross terms. This times this, uh, plus this times this. So we'll have negative 2 times these multiplied by each other. Negative 2 times, now we have root 2 times root x, which we can all just put together as 2x. Great. So we're getting close. We still have a root x, which is a bit of a problem, but we can start to so simplify a little bit and see if, what we can do with this root x. So let's just simplify both sides a little and see what we have. So we have two terms, we have x terms, and then we have this. So let's just start by saying subtracting a 2 from both sides, and we'll subtract an x from both sides. So that gives us this cleared up. So we just have on the right-hand side negative 2 root 2x. On this side, luckily, these x's cancel as well, and then we just get negative 4, which is great. So now we just have 1x by itself. We can do a little bit of work with this to solve for x, but there's no, not going to be any problems where we have a transcendental equation in which we have an x and an x that's in the square root. So let's, to get to this x, we need to dig it out just a little. Let's divide both sides by this term here negative 2. So of course that just gives us what's left here, root 2x. And then negative 4 divided by negative 2 of course just gives us positive 2. Great, so we're almost done. Now again we have a square root, we can square both sides to get rid of that. So square this and square this. So that gives us 2x equals 2 squared is 4. Great, and then finally divide both sides by 2 just gives us 4 divided by 2, x equals 2. So that's our final answer. And since we were, going, we were squaring square roots, we don't have to worry about any plus or minuses. And if we plug this back in, we'll see that we, in fact, get the same thing again. Uh, we have 2 minus 2. That gives us 0. And then we plug in a 2 here. This is 0 on the right-hand side. So this is correct, and that's our final answer.